Once the capital of 13 ancient dynasties, Xi'an appeals to the world with its profound history and memories of ancient empires. In ancient times, Xi'an was the cultural and political center of all imperial China for over 1,000 years and is one of the oldest cities in China with about 3,000 years of history. If China were a tree, Beijing will be the crown and Xi'an will be its deep roots. Xi'an is perhaps best known for its terracotta warriors which have become an international symbol of China. On March 29, 1974, Chinese farmers digging a wheel struck upon one of the greatest archaeological discoveries in the world a life-size clay soldier positioned for battle. The Terracotta Army, as it's known today, is part of an elaborate mausoleum created to accompany the first emperor of China into the afterlife. Up until this day, there have been almost 8,000 terracotta warriors, 600 terracotta horses, and almost 100 chariots uncovered in three different pits. The real mind-blowing factor is that each statue is unique. Studies show that they were mass-produced and then hand-finished. The final result? No two faces are exactly the same. The details of the warriors are so individualized that it's believed that they were based on real soldiers who served in the emperor's army. They all have different builds, expressions and postures. Back when they were created, the terracotta warriors were not the dual earthy tone that they are today. They were brilliantly colored with black hair, pink faces, purple and red gowns, black armor, light green pants and black shoes. Overall, there are more than 10 colors used for the army, including Jujube red, scarlet red, pink, pink purple, azure, and green. But why we don't see the colors of the terracotta warriors today? One of the reasons is that because most pigments are mineral substances that can easily fade or vanish after 2,200 years. Further, warriors were buried underground in humid conditions for a long time. Unfortunately, modern techniques have been adapted to preserve the colors and hopefully in the future we can see some colorful terracotta warriors in the way they were originally designed. The terracotta warriors are also known as the eighth wonder of the world. Often called the birthplace of Chinese civilization, Xi'an is considered to be a premier tourist destination in China. History, present and future are all in one single place.
streets are bustling with various activities and the first landmark that visitors will encounter in Xi'an is the ancient city wall. A magnificent fortification that still encircles the old city center echoing times past. A wall that has withstood war and famine and the rise and fall of dynasties. The fortification of Xi'an, also known as Xi'an City Wall, is one of the oldest, largest and most complete city walls that have survived in China. You won't realize though how massive this old city wall is and how surreal of an experience it would be just to visit it. The city wall is located in the center of modern-day Xi'an, formerly known as Chang'an, China's imperial capital about over 1,100 years ago. Many cities in China once had massive defensive walls to thwart invading armies. Among the few city walls that remain, the one in Xi'an is for sure the most impressive and photogenic. The current city wall is an enhancement of the old Tang dynasty structure as a result of the emperor's wall building campaign. The current wall is 14 kilometers long and surrounds the old city in one big giant square. Along the top of the wall is a walkway which will typically take four hours to cover. But Xi'an City Wall is popular for bike rides among locals and tourists. People on bicycles are able to ride around the entire circumference of the ancient fortification. To cycle around on the top of the wall for one whole circle takes about two hours at a medium speed. After dark, the wall is a world of difference from its daytime view. Today, most visitors enter the Xi'an city wall through the south gate. This is also the closest gate to the bell tower, which is located in Xi'an city center. Entering through the south gate has a symbolic meaning as this is the only gate used by armies returning home from a victorious battle. The wall of Xi'an have seen the rise and fall of many, the wars and successes, both good and bad, witnessed history and our evolution, and today, after over 3,000 years, the wall still stands. For most of us, it feels surreal just walking around on the top of a structure that is over 3,000 years old while being surrounded by skyscrapers and hearing cars honking just below the wall. It is just like stepping back into the past while still holding on to the present. Xi'an is a city with deep cultural roots that are somehow in tandem with the capital city of China, Beijing. Xi'an is the capital of Shanxi province and its history and cultural significance run deep through China's ancient past and into its bright future. The city of Xi'an is well cared for with ancient towers and modern landscaping sitting side by side in harmony. Located at the heart of the ancient city of Xi'an are two of its most famous symbols, the Drum Tower and the Bell Tower. Both towers were used in ancient times to keep time for the city. 
Morning bells and dust drums was a common phrase during those ancient times in China. The bell rings the hours of the day and the drum tower beats hours of the night. Located in the heart of Xi'an's historical district, the bell tower is one of China's most intact ancient buildings to have survived into the modern day. As a symbol of Xi'an's history, it is often known as the bright pearl of the ancient city. The bell tower in Xi'an is the most complete Ming Dynasty era construction which still stands today. The tower was built in 1384 as a way to provide an early warning of a possible attack by rival rulers. Grand buildings such as the bell tower that acted as a warning signal to the city in case of attack reflected the fact that Xi'an was an important military town in northwest China during the Ming Dynasty. However, the structure was moved during the 16th century by over 1,000 meters so that it could be located in the new city center. Today, the bell tower still marks the center of the city. Surrounding it is one of Xi'an's busiest intersections. The drum tower architecture is similar to that of the bell tower. The drum tower got its name from the huge drum located within the building. Before modern clocks that were small and easy to carry, the drum tower helped the town and its people keep time. The northern and southern sides of the tower have 24 beautiful drums made to reflect the 24 solar terms according to the lunar calendar. Each of these 24 solar turns suggests the changes in the position of the sun which can mark the beginning of the seasons. Brightened by numerous colorful glittering lights, the bell tower and drum tower are more charming than ever, with lights outlining the silhouette of each building against the night sky. The foundation of each tower is made of stone blocks, with colorfully painted wood making up the rest. The roofs are made of glazed tiles which finish off these beautifully constructed buildings. The two towers are now museums allowing visitors to get a glimpse into Xi'an's history. Xi'an was the capital city of 13 imperial dynasties, the most for any city in China. Many dynasties from about 3,000 to 1,000 years ago had their capital city here, which is how it came to be called the fountainhead of civilization for China. Xi'an or Chang'an, as it was called in ancient times, is known as the city of everlasting peace. The culture of Xi'an descends from one of the world's earliest civilizations. Performing arts are such a big part of Chinese culture.
as China continues to revisit its ancient culture, traditional drumming is once again becoming popular. Drums can be traced back nearly 4,000 years in China. They were once seen as all-powerful magic weapons. They are true to have first been used in battles and then over time were also used for celebrations. Using drums for celebration unites people to their collective riff and tempo. Something you might not have known is that paper cutting is one of the most popular decorative Chinese handicrafts and it originated in Xi'an. Chinese paper cutting dates back more than 1,500 years to the 6th century and is a great example of traditional Chinese folk culture. This art form spread to the rest of the world in the 14th century. Xi'an paper cutting folk artists are renewed in China. Here you get to see some of the most sophisticated paper cuts. At first, paper cutting was only popular in the countryside, and the masters were farm wives. In modern times, paper cuts are still widely used to decorate doors and windows, particularly during the Chinese New Year. Paper cuttings are popular because they are an expression of people's wishes and hopes for the new year. Paper cuttings are usually made with red paper. It's the most popular color because it's the color that represents good luck and prosperity in Chinese culture. Making a paper cutting requires just simple materials, paper, and a knife or a pair of scissors. But mastering this art is not easy. It requires a lot of effort, practice, craftsmanship, and imagination. The capital of Sanxi province and home to the eastern end of the ancient Silk Road, the history and cultural significance of Xi'an stretches back into China's ancient past. The city is an international symbol of China. The combination of the new and the old is one of the things that makes Xi'an such a spectacular city. Being the starting point of the ancient Cairo brought the city material wealth and turned the city into a religious and cultural melting pot that has prospered for over a thousand years. Everlasting peace and joy, this is Xi'an, welcome to China.